Our exclusive News Nation poll, just over half of Americans believe a wall at the southern border is effective at preventing illegal immigration. Marley is at the News Nation Smart Board to chart out what's actually been built so far. Marley. Well, the original wall, as proposed by former President Trump, would have cost an estimated $46 million per mile. But how much of it actually ended up being built? U.S. News & World Report says that we have built laws mostly along the border here in Arizona. This is where we're seeing the most of where we went in. We have more than 100 miles of border wall, particularly here in the Tucson and the Yuma sectors. Then as we go over along the California coast near San Diego, we have 55 miles here and along the, the Rio Grande River in Texas, that's where the rest of those walls went into place. Now, if we compare this to the barriers that were there prior, we did in fact fill in quite a few gaps here, but there are quite a few areas that remain without some kind of barrier, particularly this stretch in Texas, and that's because of natural constraints like bodies of water or funding running out. And last year, the Biden administration returned $2.2 billion in Department of Defense funds that were originally earmarked for the wall. That money will instead go toward other defense projects like a missile field expansion in Alaska. All right, Marley, thank you. Still ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.